Hi, I'm Philip. Let's check out some of my favorite features of our Jellybox 3D printer in no particular order, kind of lo-fi. Well, the most self-evident thing you see right away is that the Jellybox is held together by zip ties, cable ties. There was our sort of big breakthrough in trying to put together a printer that's fast to build. And that makes the printer very low stress to put together. Because no matter what mistake you may do, there's no fear in that. Because you don't spend any time on fixing that mistake. You just try it again, right away. It also makes it very fast and easy to fix or maintain or upgrade. For example, you take the whole Y assembly out. I just need to snip four zip ties and take it out. To take out the whole X assembly, this whole thing, I just need to cut four zip ties and loosen two screws. And it's like that with the whole print with the whole printer. It's very modular, very easy to fix. Any of the component is accessible and easy to replace as a single component instead of replacing the whole machine when something breaks. Plus, since you built it yourself, you know how to fix it and you have no fear of doing that. The extruder is quick release, one of my favorite features. You just loosen up this little hole, latch here, loosen a bunch of connectors, and ta-da! You have the whole extruder out as a unit. And you can have a bunch of these prepared with different physical hardware. For example, different nozzle sizes or different hot end. In fact, I have another one here, which has a very different hot end. This one has a long melt zone, sort of volcano style for fast prints or for uh, big nozzle sizes, while this one is a more default, more sort of all around 10 millimeter melt zone. It's also a smaller one, sort of uh, E3D version 6. In fact, this one is more akin to E3D version 5, much bigger overall. And you can use any of these. The bed, the build platform is quick release swappable, which means I can have a bunch of these prepared with different uh, surfaces to print different materials. The machine really is future-proof. All these special parts are 3D printed on these machines themselves, meaning that one, you can print a replacement if you happen to break anything, but second, it also means that you can easily hack the machine, make it different to suit your own needs, adapt it to a different extruder, adapt it to a different hot end. We give you files, we give you the tools to do that. The wire management is the best in town and the most educational. Instead of cramping the wires and the electronics in some small space where, where nobody will ever see it to have a nice, neat, Apple-style device, we went in the opposite direction. We wanted this whole thing to be as little a black box as possible. We put everything out in the open and in fact we gave it the space to make it neat and organized and to make clear what wires goes where and what they're supposed to do and what component they connect to. Um, and in addition to that, we etched the whole symbolic representation of the wiring into the printer itself. The box is very sturdy thanks to the, uh, thanks to the cube construction. People ask us how to carry it. There's two handles which make it very nice and easy to carry like this. Oftentimes I just carry it with one as well when I'm lazy. Or you can pick it up through the middle. We specifically reinforced the middle section with a bridge to make it okay for people to carry it like this. Plenty of connectivity options. The default one print from SD card. Or you can connect directly to USB port and print from computer, or as an upgrade, the machine is ready for Raspberry Pi. Now with Pi, you get Wi-Fi printing either through Octoprint or Astroprint. And of course, high quality components. We work directly with manufacturers on anything from hot end to the electronics. And for parts that we couldn't easily get the quality that we desire, we just have them custom made. The trapezoidal Z lead screw is machine ground for us. And then the video got cut off. Jellybox is a very accessible 3D printer. We designed it specifically for our single day 3D printing crash courses. Check it out at imit3d.com. I know you will enjoy it as much as we do.